probably 20 interviews already with national stations. And the first thing they all want to celebrate is the craziness of the rivalry. Those two guys on the dialysis machine having a fight the other day. And I've actually gotten a little defensive about that because I'm like, you know, you know, I got friends in New York who think everybody down here is, is wearing a straw hat and cut off jeans and drinking moonshine out of the jug with the triple X's on, like, like a Hanna-Barbera cartoon. I mean, can't you celebrate a great rivalry without celebrating the ugliness? How sensitive are you to that? You're natives. I just moved here 17 years ago, but I think it's crazy. We get to take center stage in the country for a beautiful, wonderful, great rivalry with two great schools, and we got to be talking about guys on dialysis who hit each other in the face. Isn't that a little well, disappointing? I, I totally agree with you. And Dr. Capaluda at the University of Kentucky and I were in Frankfurt on Monday of this week, and uh, that was our message is, look, this is a great rivalry. It's a basketball game. Our fans are passionate. UK's fans are passionate. Somebody's going to win. Somebody's going to lose. And, and life will go on. And both of our universities will continue to do everything we can to move the state forward and to uh, get better uh, educationally. And as Dr. Capaluda and I have said, you know, there's a time to compete and a time to collaborate. We have over 100 academic collaborations with the University of Kentucky. So uh, sometimes uh, some of our fans do get a little carried away. Well, Mike.